has his law degree from the University of Virginia. It is a great pleasure to present another very good friend in Peter Zerka. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Congresswoman. Can we give the Congresswoman a round of applause? She's right. I've worked up on the Hill and I've uh, lobbied the Hill in many, many capacities, and she is a very, very strong champion and fighter for this issue. And she has been her entire life and her uh, entire career in the U.S. Congress. And so thank you so much for your leadership, and for your tenacity, uh, and for your friendship. Uh, this movement, as the Congresswoman described when she talked about a protest on uh, in 1801 has been really like a relay race through time, right? With one generation passing the baton on to the next generation, and then to the next generation. And one of the things I was struck by when I joined BC Vote in 2002 was how long this struggle has gone on, and how often we've tried the things we're trying today. But I think the role of our generation, this generation, is different than all the other generations that have come before us because our role is to finish the race. Our role is to finish the race, is to get full equality and full democracy for Washingtonians and to achieve statehood, and I think we will. And I think that we can do that by employing three approaches. I want to discuss them with you just briefly. One around messaging, the second around tactics, and the third around strategy. So messaging, tactics, and strategy. I think it's important for us at all times when we talk about this issue, and we've already seen it, to invoke universal themes, right? We're talking about equality here, democracy, citizenship, representation, voting rights. These are all terms that Americans understand. And when they learn about the district's plight, and our biggest problem is Americans don't know about this, and Lisa's right, and I'll get to the DC residents in a moment. Enough DC residents don't really understand what's happening. But a lot of Americans don't even know. But when they learn about this plight, they support full democracy for DC residents because these themes are universal. They are American themes. And in fact, they are now human rights themes that are valued and cherished all around the world. And one of the things that Martin Luther King Jr. did right and the civil rights community did right is they wrapped themselves up with these themes. And over time, these themes resonated with Americans. And so we have to, when we talk about statehood, let's all remember that statehood is a means to what? Full citizenship. 